Okay, in this video, I am going to, in this video, I am going to be uh, gapping my rings. Uh, when you do have an engine machine, machine they, they are going to ask you for your pistons and have you bring them in because they're going to match your pistons to your cylinders. Um, really nice way of making sure that it's a good fit and that everything works well. Um, Summit Racing, I ordered the, uh, the piston and rings that came with it uh, as a kit and that way I could uh, make sure that every everything coincided with everything else. Every piston is exactly the same so it makes it really easy to do your, uh, your ring gapping and all that fun stuff. You know that they're all perfect, perfectly the same. Pistons all measure out exactly the same. Uh, pistons come in these nice packages. You got your oil ring, your all that good stuff for all in one area. You've got your uh, directions on how to do everything from Summit. Uh, pretty, pretty, pretty good instructions. Uh, it's kind of interesting, but it shows you how you should have them installed, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, so take the time to go ahead and read those, and that way you're ready to go. Do have one of the pistons because when you do do your rings, you're going to grab. Make sure it's not, that's an oil ring. I don't want that one. There we go. One, two, oil. Okay, so when we open them up, if I can open them up, geez. let me grab my scissors real quick out of my toolbox and snip it open. Go lay down, baby. Dogs are in here with me. They're my constant companions. These are going to be your oil ring cell thin. They are. Um, those go with your. Whoop, those go with your oil rings. And you'll feel you can feel the springy things in there too. So those two go together. And back in the box. You grab your next set of rings. Be it top or middle doesn't really matter you're going to get them all anyway there's my rings all pretty molly rings it's a pretty easy process I'm going to show you the basics real quick pause here for a minute and then I'm going to uh, set up my my ring gapper I uh, went to Harbor Freight for $3.99 got me a feeler gauge I have uh, <laughs> spark plug gappers in there but I don't have any feeler gauges, and the spark plug gapper doesn't work really good for a uh, for gap in your rings. Uh, I am going to double check the measurement, but uh, because this is going to be a forced induction motor, um, for non -for forced induction, you set them to 24, the gap. Uh, for a forced induction, it's, uh, excuse me, it's 28. So we're definitely going to... Uh, have to do a little bit of work on that for sure. So you just put your ring in, and yeah, they don't play well either. They're very, very tight. And you have a little gap in there. Find the gap that you're using. First center, use your piston, and go down a little bit with it so that they're nice and centered in there. You don't want to do <laughs> gap your piston rings with them crooked at any way. You definitely want to push them a little ways in there and then check your gap. Being very careful not to drop your really nice aluminum piston. Uh, these are going to be 28. 1, 3, 5, 15. They go the opposite direction. Brand new, so they're covered in oil. 24, 25, 26, 28. There's 28 right there. Take your time when, when doing this, when you're filing them. Uh, you don't want it. You can always take a little bit more off, but you can't put any more back on. And that cost me a set of rings. Put it in here, and these are so tight, it won't even go in there. Um, there's probably three thousandths, maybe, clearance in there. They're tight. Um, so definitely, we're going to have to take a little bit off so that at least we can get the, get the gapper in there. Um, but they're 028, uh, 7, 70 millimeter, I think, 0.70 millimeter. Uh, but that kind of shows you. So I will uh, go ahead and get everything set up. Excuse me. Get everything set up 
and uh, show you how to how to how to grind these uh, grind these rings. So we'll pause you for now and be back in a minute. This is my ring gapper. I'm not going to pause it, I'm just going to cut chunks out of it. My ring gapper comes with a little tool for spinning it. I uh, got this from Summit Racing. Uh, relatively inexpensive, but a nice quality little piece. Don't get too cheap on these kind of things because cheap means not that good. Uh, but as you see, it's just a wheel. Take your 